hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we'll discuss about the solution of linear equations with matrix method that is the martin's rule okay in this case we are given three equations that is 3x minus 2y plus z equals to 2 2x plus y minus 3z equals to minus 5 and minus x plus 2y plus z equals to 6 okay in this case first we have to write the matrix form so what is the matrix form that is ax equals to b okay done so what is a what is x and what is b a is the coefficient matrix okay next x x is the variable matrix and after that b is equals to constant matrix now it is given that ax equals to b and multiplied both sides with a inverse so in the left hand side x will come in the right hand side a inverse b so we will find only the matrix x okay to find x we will follow the four steps the first one step one is we will check a is singular or non-singular next step two we will find adjoint a next step three we will find a inverse that is x equals to a inverse b this is a inverse and step 4 we will find a inverse b that is x we will check a is singular or non singular so a is the coefficient matrix so we will write the coefficient matrix a okay so now we will write the coefficient matrix a so first coefficient of x is 3 next the coefficient of y is minus 2 and the coefficient of z is 1 next the coefficient of x is 2 y is 1 and z is minus 3 the coefficient of x is minus 1 y is 2 and z is 1 so now we know that determinant value of a if it is 0 then a is singular matrix and if the determinant value is not equals to 0, then it is called non-singular matrix. So now we will find the determinant value of A. First of all, write down the matrix A in the determinant form. So now expanding with the first row, we have 3 into determinant 1 minus 3. 2 1 minus minus 2 into the determinant 2 minus 1 minus 3 1 and 1 into determinant 2 1 minus 1 2 okay so now find out the value 1 into 1 1 minus minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 next so now minus minus plus 2 now 2 into 1 2 minus minus 3 into minus 1 that is 3 plus 1 into 2 to the 4 minus minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 okay now 3 into that is 7 minus minus plus 6 plus 1 7 plus 2 into that is minus 1 plus 1 into that is 5 3 7 that 21 minus 2 plus 5 that is 24 and it is not equals to 0 so a is non-singular and we can say that a inverse exists so in this case step 2 we will find adjoint a adjoint a is given see the form so we will find all the cofactors so the cofactor of a 1 1 that is 3 the cofactor of 3 is first of all minus 1 to the power this is 1 plus 1 and 1 1 means 1 first row and first column cancel out the remaining one write down in the determinant form that is 1 minus 3 2 1 now find out the value so minus 1 whole to the power 2 that is 1 and the determinant value is 1 1 is 1 minus minus 3 into 2 that is minus 6 that will come plus that is 6 okay so a11 the value of a11 is 7 next a12 a12 means which one the cofactor of minus 2 
the cofactor of minus 2 we will write minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 and the determinant in the determinant first row second column cancel out write down the element now find out the value minus 1 to the power 3 that will become minus 1 and then 2 ones are 2 minus minus 3 into minus 1 that is 3 so the value is 1 okay next 1 3 so we will find the cofactor of 1 so minus 1 whole to the power 1 plus 3 and that in the determinant first row third column cancel out 2 1 minus 1 2 in the determinant now find out the value minus 1 to the power 4 that is 1 and 2 to the 4 minus minus plus so the value is 5 okay next a 2 1 that is cofactor of 2 okay so minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 and the determinant row 2 column 1 cancel out so minus 2 1 2 1 in the determinant now find out the determinant value minus 1 to the power 3 that is that, that will come minus 1 and this one so the cofactor of 2 is 4 next so now the cofactor of 1 is minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 and in the determinant 3 min 1 minus 1 1 now find out the value minus 1 to the power 4 that will come 1 and 3 minus of minus 1 that will come 3 plus 1 that is 4 next the cofactor of minus 3 so minus 1 to the power 2 plus 3 and in the determinant row 2 column 3 cancel out so 3 minus 2 minus 1 2 now find out the value minus 1 to the power 5 that will be minus 1 into 3 to the 6 minus 2 so minus 4 okay the all values are written in the above now a31 that is cofactor of minus 1 so minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1 and in the determinant minus 2 1 1 and minus 3 now find out the value minus 1 to the power 4 that will come 1 and in the determinant 6 minus 1 5 okay next a32 the cofactor of 2 so minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2 and in the determinant 3 2 1 and minus 3 okay so minus 1 to the power 5 that will come minus 1 into minus 9 minus 2 so the value is minus 1 into minus 11 that is plus 11 next the cofactor of 11 sorry 1 the cofactor of 1 is minus 1 to the power 3 plus 3 and in the determinant this one 3 minus 2 2 1 find out the value minus 1 to the power 6 that will come 1 into 3 1 the 3 minus minus plus so 2 to the 4 that will come 7 okay so we, we have all values of adjoint a now write down the adjoint a so a11 is 7 a21 is 4 a31 is 5 next a12 is 1 a22 is 4 a32 is 11 now a13 is 5 a23 is minus 4 and a33 is 7 so we have adjoint a next step 3 we will find a inverse so we know that a inverse is the formula is adjoint a by mod a so we have adjoint a and mod a values so now a inverse equals to first 1 by mod a so 1 by 24 and now write down the adjoint a that is 7 for 5 1 for 11 and 5 minus 4 7 now going to the last step that is x equals to a inverse b so x is we know that variable matrix and the variables are x y and z after that b is the constant matrix so constant matrix are that is 2 minus 5 and 6 
so now we will write in the matrix form that is x equals to a inverse b write down x y z after that a inverse we know that 1 by 24 into 7 4 5 1 4 11 5 minus 4 7 into matrix b that is 2 minus 5 6 now 1 by 24 into matrix multiplication first row into first column that is 7 into 2 plus 4 into minus 5 plus 5 into 6 next 1 into 2 4 into minus 5 plus 11 into 6 and last 5 into 2 minus 4 into minus 5 plus 7 into 6 now calculate the values the value will come 24 48 and 72 now multiply it with each element by 1 by 24 so 24 by 24 48 by 24 72 by 24 so this one equals to 1 2 and 3 and this one is equals to the matrix x y z so x equals to 1 y equals to 2 and z equals to 3 so this is the answer the values of the variables x y z thank you